Hello everyone, this is Mario. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to ride La Flèche Vallon, the second of the three Ardennes classics following Amstel Gold Race and preceding uh, Liège Bastogne Liège. So the teams for this race are very strong. Um, a lot of the best riders in World Tour teams are present in this one. Um, of course, the favorites are. Uh, tw the winner of the 2018 edition, Julien Lafilippe from the Koenig Quick Step. He's one of the best uh, riders in punchy finishes, mm -hmm. as the one we have today. And of course, one of the other big favorites is Alejandro Valverde, the world champion, who before Alaphilippe won the 2018 edition, managed to win four straight uh, editions of uh, La Flèche Vallon. And for this one, we are going to take control of uh, Team Bahrain Merida, um, who bring Domenico Pozovivo and Dylan Tunes as their leaders for this race. Also, Matej Mohoric and Damiano Caruso, who are going to be very helpful um, for our leaders. So, as I said before, the favorites for this race are Alejandro Valverde and Julian Lafilippe, together with Mikhail Kwiatkowski, Michael Woods and Dan Martin. Um, none of our riders is in the top 10 favorites for the race, but I still think we can uh, manage a top 10 finish in the race, and that would be um, a nice result for us. So here we are for the start of La Flèche Vallon. Um, Domenico Pozovivo is having a, a very strong day. Um, however, Dylan Tunes is not in the best uh, condition. He's having a minus one race day condition. So I guess our leader for this race is actually going to be Domenico Pozovivo. He's going to have um, top priority for for us in this race. So I'm trying to take Damiano Caruso in the breakaway. I don't know if they are going to let me do it. Actually, the peloton is not chasing these five men. So we are going to have Damiano Caruso in uh, the breakaway. Oh, and I, I don't believe this. Dylan Tunes and Pozo Vivo both falling. Oh, no. Oh, I don't. <laughs> Why is this happening to me? Pozo Vivo, together with Lawson Craddock, are aban abandoning the race. No. And someone else, Dylan Van Barle, also abandoning. Oh, I d No. Why? Well, I guess we'll have to stick with Dylan Tunes as our, our leader for this race. So guys, about 155 kilometers to go, well, for the breakaway group at least, 160 for the peloton, because there are six minutes separating the breakaway from the peloton. We are down, our team is down to six men now, um, we lost our leader for the day, Domenico Pozovivo, in a fall. And yeah, now it's all or nothing for Dylan Tunes. So 100 kilometers now um, remaining for the breakaway. Their lead uh, has decreased from 6 minutes to 4. The peloton has now increased the pace. Damiano Caruso still has a lot of energy left. So now with 58 kilometers to go, the breakaway is starting the first of three ascensions of the Mur de Wii. 
um, the hill that is going to take the riders to the finish line. As you can see, it's a very, very steep hill. So we are back in the Moor de Wee for a second time. Um, I let Dylan Tunes drop a bit. I didn't want to. Um, yeah, let's see if he can keep up with the leaders. He can. Valverde and Ala Philippe are attacking. A lot of riders are following. Let's see. We I don't think we can try to follow the attacks. We are just trying to keep our own pace. Let's see the Cote de Cherave. A lot of people moving in the front of the race. We are oh we are following in this group where Ala Philippe and Michael Woods are, and Valverde as well. Who are the three men in the front? Well, what? No, sorry, there are four. So Bardet, Sagan, Kwiatkowski and Martin. And then Valverde and Ala Philippe. Dan Martin is losing his position. We have absolutely no chance. Let's try and stay in this group. Uh, well, let's try the sprint. Let's see. In the front, it's Mikhail Kwiatkowski, followed by Valverde and... Julien Alaphilippe, then Roman Bardet and Peter Sagan, let's see what we can do with Dylan Tunes. We are not getting the top 10 finish I was hoping for. So we are going to finish in 14th. This is disappointing. So here is the replay, Mikhail Kwiatkowski winning La Flèche Vallon ahead of Alejandro Valverde and Julien Alaphilippe. So the goal we had set was a top 10 finish. We didn't manage that. Uh, Dylan Tunes finished in 14th. He wasn't, uh, due to the race day condition, he wasn't our leader at the start of the race. Uh, Domenico Pozovivo was. However, he fell very early in the race and had to abandon. So, yeah, a really disappointing race. So that's it, guys. Um, I'm disappointed with this uh, 14th place. Um, and even more disappointed because Pozo Vivo was having a good day and he was forced to abandon, abandon the race due to a fall. Um, the winner, Mikhail Kwiatkowski, the Polish champion, ahead of the world champion, Alejandro Valverde, uh, and the 2018 winner of La Flèche Vallon, Julien Alaphilippe, finishing in the final place of the podium. So guys, Thank you for watching. Um, even though it was a disappointing result, I hope you have enjoyed the race. I definitely need to improve my performance in this type of races. I don't think I used the best uh, strategy uh, towards the finish. Please comment down below um, what you think I should have done better uh, in this race or in this video. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you all next time.